Hello, my name is Ronnie Schneff. I've been a volunteer with the Oyster Bay Railroad Museum for the past 10 years. I'm also the president of the Long Island chapter of the Pennsylvania Railroad Technical and Historical Society. We're going to be doing a series of videos on locomotive number 35. Um, this is just to keep all of us occupied during the, uh, the coronavirus um, quarantine. We hope everybody is staying safe and above all else sane. Um, okay, so our first video is going to be on the, the design and uh, the history of uh, the, the class of locomotives that number 35 belongs to, and that's the Pennsylvania Railroad G5S. Um, under the Pennsylvania Railroad, the letter G stands for a 460 wheel arrangement. That means there's four leading wheels, six drive wheels, and no trailing wheels. Um, this locomotive was designed by William Kiesel uh, in the early 1920s. It was essentially a modification of the earlier E6S Atlantic design, which Kiesel had also worked on. Uh, the E6 was essentially a, um, uh, a fast passenger locomotive designed for speed above all else. Uh, the G5, on the other hand, is with an extra set of drive wheels, in, which were smaller in diameter, it was more fit for commuter service, which is exactly why the, the class was designed. The, the class was originally built for uh, commuter service for the Pennsylvania Railroad in areas around Pittsburgh, um, and eventually it, it, it proved useful on operations such as the Long Island Railroad, which was a Pennsylvania Railroad subsidiary at the time. Pennsylvania Railroad built 90 of these locomotives for their, for their own use, and they built another 31 to be delivered new to the Long Island Railroad. Those locomotives were delivered, um, like I said, new to the railroad with Long Island reporting marks. They were actually the last steam locomotives that were ever delivered to the Long Island Railroad. Um, the Long Island locomotives were put into service between 1924 and 1929. Uh, locomotive 35 was put into service uh, it was, well, I should say it was built in October of 1928 at the Juniata Shops in Altoona, Pennsylvania. Um, the locomotive was, um, as I said, designed for commuter service, meaning the passenger stations in suburban areas are relatively close together, so the key to the design was being able to quickly accelerate and decelerate. So the the 460 wheel design, wheel arrangement I should say, was actually, an, it, it started as a, an upgrade of the 440 American, um, and if you, if you were to look at the earlier classes of 10-wheeler uh, steam locomotives, they actually do resemble the, the classic American 440 design. Uh, that wasn't the, the case in this situation. This was a, a modification of the Atlantic type, which was um, more powerful and faster. And, um, and honestly, the, the G5 does not really resemble the earlier 10-wheelers uh, um, all that much. Um, this was the, the most powerful class of 460 locomotives ever built as a class. I do believe there were a couple of one-off examples that were built that may have exceeded it, but as a class, this was the largest and most powerful. Um, so they, they served in commuter service and proved highly reliable for the Long Island Railroad all the way up until the early 1950s uh, when they were phased out and um, and replaced with the, the diesels of the day, the, the Alcos and the, the Fairbanks Morses and what have you. Um, so today there's three that survive. Um, Long Island 35 is one of uh, two that uh, remain, two Long Island locomotives that remain. The other one is with the Railroad Museum of Long Island out in Riverhead. And there's also a one of the one of the 90 PRR. Uh, locomotives also survives, and that's in the Railroad Museum of Pennsylvania in Strasburg. Um, so, we're as I said, we're going to be getting into um, a lot more of the, the history of Locomotive 35 uh, specifically, but that's basically just the, the general history on the, the, the design of the class itself. Uh, we look forward to doing more of these videos, and, um, and we, we look forward to hearing from everybody as to their feedback and thoughts on the project.
Uh, I'll see you next time. Again, stay safe and stay sane.